Hey everybody, welcome on back. And before we get started with code and what to do with it, there were a couple of uh, vocab words that came up in the previous section, and so we've gone ahead and written them down. First is ECMAScript, a standardized version of JavaScript, interchangeable with the name JavaScript. Uh, Node.js is an environment for running JS outside of the browser. And MongoDB, CouchDB are two databases which use JS as the scripting and query languages. So with that, let's talk about code and what to do with it. Code is the text that make up, makes up programs. Sounds like a reasonable addition, to our, reasonable addition to our vocab list. So we'll say code is the text that makes up programs. Most chapters in this book contain quite a lot of code. I believe reading code and writing code are indispensable parts of learning to program. Try to not just glance over the examples. Read them attentively and understand them. And hopefully this walkthrough will help that. This may be slow and confusing at first, like this walkthrough, but I promise that you'll, get, you'll quickly get the hang of it. The same goes for the exercises. Don't assume you understand them until you've actually written a working solution. I recommend you try solutions. I recommend you try your solutions to exercises in an actual JavaScript interpreter. And by the way, that's our replit. That's what we're doing here. Uh, interpreter. That way, you'll get immediate feedback on whether you are doing whether what you are doing is working, and I hope you'll be tempted to experiment and go beyond the exercises. Cannot emphasize that as an excellent marker of a good future programmer is those that experiment and go beyond the exercises. The easiest way to run the example code in the book and to experiment with it is to look up the online version of this book at eloquentjavascript.net, which is actually where we are. There you can click any code examples to edit and run it, and you'll see the output it produces. Now, one of the things you should note is that we're actually on the PDF version. So if we go ahead and highlight uh, you know, the not PDF version, we're going to get here and you'll notice that there's a much, much more kind of, well, how should we put this? Interactive version. It's actually like a live website and there'll be places where you can run things. Now, perhaps that would have been a better idea to do for this tutorial, but what I'm going to do is use the PDF version and I don't really have a significant reason why. That's just what I'm going to do. <clears throat> but you can definitely feel free to use the non-PDF version, which if you would like to, you can get to by the way we just described. Uh, there you can click any code examples, see the output to work on the exercises, go to uh, blah 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 dot slash code, which provides starting code for each coding exercises, exercise and allows you to look at the solutions. Excuse me. If you want to run the programs defined in this book outside of the book's website, some care will be required. Um, many examples stand on their own and should work in any JavaScript environment, but code in later examples is often written for a specific environment, the browser or node, and can run only there. In addition, many chapters define bigger problems and the pieces of code that appear in them depend on each other or on external files. The sandbox on the website provides links to zip files containing all the scripts and data files necessary to run the code for a given chapter. Now I think I remember why I decided to use the PDF as opposed to the HTML versions, and I think it was because it's just a little bit smoother in terms of reading for other people. The uh, formatting of the actual book on the HTML versions didn't look as good. Uh, however, if you feel the opposite of that, please let me know, leave a comment, say, hey, go to the HTML version, and perhaps, especially for later chapters in this book, we might use the HTML version uh, if we ever get up that high. Uh, so with that, that's the end of this section. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.